In this tutorial, we're looking at the one method of jQuery, and the one method is useful when you want to attach an event listener to an element um, at most one time. So for example, if we wanted to attach a click event listener to all of these divs here, but once somebody clicked on one of them, we didn't want to be listening for that click event listener anymore. We just wanted to remove that altogether. Um, we can use the one method. So what we're starting off with here in our base styles, um, all of the divs have a background of green and they have a border of 10 px outset and also a cursor of pointer. Um, you'll see that if I hover over them, I'm getting that pointer cursor here. And then inside the markup here, we have the five divs and we also have a paragraph and we're going to update this paragraph's text um, when somebody clicks on one of the divs. Going into the JS now, the first thing we're doing is we're creating a local variable n, and this is going to serve as an internal counter for our function. So we're going to keep track of how many times the divs got clicked on. And then just so we know what's all going on here, I first console logged um, the div match set, and then console log uh, the div match set dot index and what index is it is this is the name of a function um, that we're going to run inside our click handler right here and it is going to return to us you know what div did we click on did we click on the first one the third one um, so that's what that function is going to do so if we look at the right side in the console here you'll see when I console log the div match set um, we have our object right here it has all five um, of the div elements in it and what I did after that was just console log um, this match set and then dot index so we can take a look at that function. And we can see that that function um, takes an element as its only argument. And what it's going to do in here is it's going to return to us which one we clicked on. Did we click on uh, the first one, which is zero? Did we click on the third one? So let's go into our click event handler here. And you'll see that with one, the first thing that we want to pass it is what event we're listening for. In our case, we're listening for the click event. And then when somebody clicks on it, we want to run this function right here. And the first thing we're doing is we're creating this variable index, and that is set to um, div index. And remember, we need to pass that the element. So we're just going to pass it this right here. Because inside the context of this function, um, this is referring to um, the element that was clicked on. And what I'm doing after that is I'm just console logging um, the index. So we can click on some of these now, and you'll see in the console we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Um, so that's giving us uh, which one that we clicked on. And then as far as the styles go, we're doing this.css. We're changing the border style to inset and then the cursor to auto. So if you, you see if I hover over any of these now, um, I'm getting the auto cursor. And if I click on any of them, it doesn't do anything. And that's because we use the one method. The last thing that I want to talk about is the code at the bottom where we updated the paragraph text. And the interesting thing in here um, that made it work is that we have plus plus n instead of n plus plus. And the way that this works is it is going to um, is going to first going to increment this value and it's going to return to you um, the incremented value. Um, whereas n plus plus is going to update n, it's going to increment n, but it's going to return the unincremented value. So in our case, when we click on one of these, um, we want to see the incremented value. So if I click on the first one, you'll see that's one total clicks. Click on the second one, that's two total clicks. Um, so that's working because we're using plus plus n. If we were using n plus plus and we clicked on the first one, it would increment n, but it would tell us um, that's zero total clicks here.